So what was the R&D like back then when you first got into it? So as far as like oak R&D, I mean, the oak, research into barrels of maturation has been around for quite some time. But most of our research and innovation was done in the wine industry because with bourbon, experimentation into barrels was happening, but it wasn't really credible. It was kind of like the mindset, you know, why, why fix it if it's not broke? The char four barrel works great and we make a lot of money selling these products. It wasn't until some of this, like the craft distillery boom and some of the heritage customers really started taking a turn into innovation and say, hey, there's a lot we can do with wood, Maker's Mark in particular. You know, I joke with those guys saying that their innovation program probably is the one that sparked the need for this job here. So anyways, they had some wine guys kind of moonlighting in the spirits industry, kind of taking care of some of these customers that wanted to experiment with different types of barrels. And I think once it grew to a certain point, that's like, okay, we need somebody full time. Before me, I mean... There had been experimentation in the late 90s, early 90s, you know, with char levels, different wood species, wood seasoning times, and I'm sure we'll talk about all that and how it affects flavor. But the experiments were done. People tasted the whiskey. And again, it was just the fact that, you know, char threes and char fours were pumping out really, really good bourbon. And the craft distilling boom hadn't really hit yet. So there really wasn't any need for producers to be looking for differentiation. And then all this craziness happened and here we are. Mm-hmm. 